Hello and welcome to Ionic Tips Weekly Episode 10, uh, the weekly show where we take a look at one small tip each week to try and become better Ionic developers. Uh, this week my tip is going to be relying on uh, CSS variables to style your application. So if you've been using uh, Ionic 4 uh, for a little while, you probably would have already come across the theming variables. Uh, you can come into the variables.scss file and you can change these values uh, to change the theme throughout your application. Uh, when you're giving the button colors and so on, you can change what these primary, secondary, tertiary, and so on colors are. Uh, that's not what I am making this video about. What I'm recommending that people try to do is to use or reuse these variables as much as you can throughout your application in your own custom classes as well. So say for example, if we have um, this template here, I've just got some random items on here. I've got a list, uh, the content obviously, and a paragraph tag. Let's say that I want to uh, give the content area a background. So I could open up the SCSS file for this page and I can say ion content. And then in order to change the background color for the content, I need to supply the ion background color uh, variable to it. And what we can do, or what we could do, is let's say I want this um, to be, uh, we'll just use a random color. I'll make it a gray color. So if I save that, we can see that the background color has successfully changed. But what I could also do instead is reuse our theme variables that we already have set up. So if I'm going for a, a light color, for example, I might want to make use of this. Uh, I probably can't see that very well. So I'll go with the medium just so we can see it. So rather than manually specifying that color value there, what I can do is just write var and use one of our variables that we have defined. So I'll use ion and that was color medium, right? Yeah, so ion color medium, save that. And now our background is using that color instead. Uh, it could be the same for the text, for example, maybe we wanna change the text color. So I could again, I could just set it to some random color. We'll just say red there for now. Or instead I could come into my theme variables here and say, or well, maybe I want this to be a danger text. And so instead I could just use a variable and say ion color danger, save that, jump back into here. And now that's going to be using that danger value. Now there's probably enough uh, theme colors in here to supply every color you want to use in your application, especially if uh, you're using the uh, Ionic uh, color generator. You can get a whole bunch of different values and shades for each color, but you can also define extra values if you want. So say if you wanted a, a text color that you were going to reuse throughout the application, you could say, create a new variable, maybe we'll call it my, call it my highlight uh, color. And we'll just set that to yellow. And then if we jump back into here, maybe then we want to set the background color of a paragraph tag to that highlight color. So I'll say my highlight color. And this is going to look terribly awful, I think. It's going to be red on yellow, uh, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, so that's our text there now. So we have the yellow background and the red text. And these are all using these variables. And the reason this is a good thing to do is because now if we wanted to change values throughout our application, we can do it all from this file here. We can change our theme colors and that's going to be changed across our whole application. Obviously right now I'm only dealing with like two elements, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but if we were to have a bunch of different pages that were using these values in a lot of different places, it's very hard to go through and change those manually. Whereas with these variables, we just change them in one place and we're done. And another reason it's good is it keeps consistency. You can put some thought into what you want your theme to be, what colors you want to use. But if you're defining variables uh, or the values manually in here, you might use one shade of gray in one place and then maybe in another file using a slightly different shade of gray. Uh, and so you're gonna get these uh, inconsistencies and it's probably going to make your application look worse overall uh, instead of the color scheme being rigid, thought out and considered. Okay, so that's the tip for this week. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please uh, like the video and feel free to subscribe and I will see you uh, again in the next video.